Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Life with Spike. Today we're going to put the ceiling in the van. So I went ahead and got a template, made it with cardboard and marked out four holes here and four holes here. Now I'm going to take the slats or the joists from the van and then once these are drilled out, we'll bolt them together and then we'll drill out all of the other holes so that they're exactly where they need to be. And once we do that, we'll mark out the fan and then we'll cut out our light pods. I think we got six or eight to go in this ceiling panel. And then we've got one more ceiling panel that we're gonna put two more or four more, probably, probably just the two, I believe. So we're gonna grab the saw and we're gonna cut this pieces off that fit in the back edge of the van and then once we do that we'll go grab the slats we'll start measuring everything else out cutting everything else out marking everything and once everything is done we will we'll test fit it and if everything fits properly because i might have to do a couple notches in the side for some electrical wires because this is a little bit wider than the cardboard but hopefully everything fits together nicely crossing our fingers <laughs> because <laughs> I wasn't sure how it's going to do this. I should have put the ceiling up and then drilled the holes and then put the T-nuts in the holes that I just drilled. Now, I didn't know, and I should have thought about that before, but we're going to move on from now because everything's already done in the van already. So we're going to go backwards, do a little bit, and we'll go forwards. So we'll put you on a time lapse and we'll be right back. Okay, now that I got all my holes drilled for my T-nut squares, I've got all my lights drilled out. So now that I'm gonna done that, I'm gonna take these boards off and cut the max hole fan, max fan hole, <laughs> and then swap over, put these boards on, drill those holes in, and then we can go ahead and sand and stain and install. Oh wait, we need to test fit, then sand and stain and install. Looks exciting. Okay, let's get this done. Okay, now that I got those removed, I'm gonna drill out these holes to the proper size of the bolts because I just did a pilot hole. Okay, so I'm gonna go put these back up in the van so all the wires don't fall down, and we'll be right back. Once I was done with the last two boards, I reinstalled them back onto the van. Once I had finished tightening all the bolts, I went ahead and taped all the wires back up so when I put the ceiling up, all the wires were in the right places. Once I had test fitted my ceiling, I went ahead and marked all my electrical wires. Once I was done that, I went and water sealed the back of my panel, the one that's going to be against the wool and the ceiling. And then when I was done that, I flipped it over and barathaned it a couple coats, really thick coats of this new stuff that I just got, gloss. Once I was done that, I went ahead and started insulating the ceiling and preparing for tomorrow. Since Amazon didn't deliver my package today, I was hoping to get the solar wire. And I was using tape instead of wire to tuck my wool up, which was working and it did the trick so we'll see when I wake up in the morning if it's all still up on the ceiling <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, now I'm gonna put the ceiling up. All right, so now I've got all my screws in. I ran out, I literally have two left and I'm gonna use these two to mount the last foot and a half, 18 inches of roof left. And then I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna mount a piece of trim across, but that's a future project that I'm not gonna worry about because that's cosmetic. Like I said, I'm just worried about getting this thing functional so that I can get out in the bush and go play. And then when I come back here, I can maybe add some touch-ups and little fancy things when I have some extra money. But for now, since this is all ready to go and the ceiling ain't gonna come down, I'm thinking about installing all my lights. Now I was debating on whether or not I'm ever going to remove this ceiling or not now that I've had this access panel get up here and then once I build up this, this could be completely blocked off from moving the ceiling down in the future. So I think I'm just going to use butt connectors instead of um, terminal joints that you can just unclip when you need to because then you can just unclip all the lights, move the ceiling. But that's just not an option anymore. So we're just going to use butt connectors. And then we're gonna get real, we're just gonna crack along and get all eight of them in. I've got two more left in the front, but I'm not gonna worry about those for now. I'm just gonna worry about the back eight. And then tomorrow, if the sun is good, maybe we'll finish off the ceiling and install the last two lights and we'll test them out. For now, we can test out the back six because this is on a circuit and those four on our circuit. So the living room lights the hallway lights and then the kitchen lights. So let's get to it. Oh, you make me want to talk back. Talk back to you. Say you say you like that. If I hate you, then find someone new. Baby, but you know. Okay, now I've got six lights wired up. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hopefully this works because I did everything correctly. So it's going to work. All right, here goes nothing. Let's uh, grab here, Need negative. Nothing else is touching. Okay, here goes nothing. Boom. Looks like all of them are working. Oh, I can't tell. 
Awesome. That's so cool. Um, that was just a wire, just a test. Like literally disconnected now. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna pop these in. What? No way. That looks so good. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you guys want to see these lights actually get wired to a switch instead of just wires hanging there, you better stay tuned, subscribe, like this video, and watch the next video and the next video because in the next week or two, those lights should be wired and to a switch and I can just flick on and off anytime I want. I won't have to use these anymore, which means that'll be getting close to the end of this project and maybe, maybe get to take it out before snow flies and we'll actually get to sleep in it before I can't anymore because I don't have winter tires. So you guys better subscribe, like, comment in my videos so that I can actually make a few dollars so that I can actually buy winter tires. Because that's amazing. Next year, traveling around in the wintertime in this nice heated van, that'd be awesome. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys. Later.